We will share top three things that can make you sick when being in your car for a long time. Make sure you stay until the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Today will be super helpful video guys. Today will be a video that uh, we're uh, really excited to make because many people Google that and ask even in comment section below under our videos why my head hurts after driving in the car for a long time why i have sore throat after driving in the car for a long time we'll explain that in this video today what can easily cause that and something that most people never check it could be three easy fixes so make sure to stay until the end and hopefully you will feel better after that i was one of you by the way if i was on long trips over four hours three four hours sometimes i will have really sore throat next day i will have a headache and we'll explain what can easily cause that before we start let me uh, let me tell you guys a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to our channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools anything check out the link in the description of the video below we can get them for a really good price quick shipping and save quite a bit of money so let's start on it and explain what can give you that headache and sore throat as well so what can easily guys make you feel sick have a headache or sore throat when you drive in your car for a long time guys okay we'll share top three things that can easily cause that so you have that device that thing that's called cabin air filter it's super important for your car why because the air that comes from outside and comes to the heater vents uh, to the ac vents will go through that uh, cabin air filter so uh, that way it will clean the air from outside guys which is terrible you can see it's full of full of uh, allergens full of uh, particles that can uh, irritate your sinuses from there you can get sore throat and headache so that cabin air filter will get dirty and every time uh, heater ac works practically air will go through it and uh, sometimes you can even get mold in these because if they're not replaced for a long time it's common sometimes leaves from the trees and moisture to make it inside of them build up and that can cause mold and you will be guys breathing that so well, that's very common why you may get sick while driving in the car for a long time because of a dirty cabin air filter that thing uh, we have a special video that explains how often to replace cabin air filter check it out it will teach you about that because uh, most people i would say 95 percent of the people and i'm one of those most of the times will never change it on time and it's not expensive at all you can if you don't know how to change it there is videos for almost every car if not go for an oil change next time and just ask for a cabin air filter uh, to be replaced too and that will take care of it guys another thing if you guys okay uh, if you have filthy interior carpets are dirty they haven't been uh, vacuumed shampooed that can easily cause that as well because allergies and things like that and dust will be accumulating and that can irritate your sinuses which can cause headaches and sore throat something else when you drive for a long time and if you use the recirculation button that button will circulate the air only from inside and if you're using the ac your air will get really dry inside the car when it gets dry that can cause irritation as well another thing <laughs> i know this we had that problem where if you drive really long trips and you have the recirculation button on it's a really well insulated car uh, it will decrease the amount of oxygen and it will increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the car and that can cause headaches as well guys so you need to address that hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time